All right, so today I am bringing back the pack battles. I'm pretty positive this is my first time doing it on NHL 21. And today we are going to be going up against Thrash. Now I haven't actually watched the packs that he's gotten yet. I'm going to do that while I'm putting the team together. So I don't know what to compare with while I'm opening my packs. You know, just so that way it's just going to be a surprise, I suppose. So anyways, without further ado... Let's let Thrash open his packs. Hey, what's going on? Great to be here. Rit, thank you so much for having me on the channel. Can't wait to kick your butt with these Tim Hortons hockey packs. I've got nine of them. Uh, if you guys missed it, I got really lucky in one of these packs earlier in the year and pulled a Lafreniere redemption card. Um, so let's see if we can repeat that. Um, but I just want to say, Rit, thanks for having me on the channel, man. I've actually, believe it or not, I know I've been doing YouTube for a few years now, but uh, I remember watching you before I even started doing YouTube. So being on the channel is super cool, um, and I can't wait to kick your ass. So let's go ahead, get into these. Um, let's go one by one and see if we get something good and hopefully build a, uh, a top contending team here. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually show you guys what I get first, and then I'll take a look myself. So we started off with Jack Hughes. We got a, I can't even tell, Jordan Bennington. Okay, we have a starting goalie there. And a William Carlson. Next up, we've got Eric Stahl. Looks like a Elias Pettersson. And an Alex Ovechkin. All right. Um, so through two packs here, I'm already nervous, though. We got Jack Hughes. Yeah, William Carlson, Stahl. Yeah, we don't have any defensemen. We have a goalie. We have Bennington. We don't have any defensemen yet. So I'm starting to get nervous already. We've got Tuka Rask. We've got another goalie here. we got a Canvas Patrick Kane. And then an Alex Dabrinkat to go along with that. That canvas card is really nice. But still no defensemen. Okay, we are a third of the way there with zero defensemen. Oh boy. Rit, I hope you have some bad luck, man. I, I hope I get something here. Next up, we got Max Pacioretty. Eric Carlson and Zach Wierenski. My top two D pair right there. Wierenski and Carlson. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. That helps, man. That helps huge. Also, I've noticed no duplicates so far, which is really nice. No crazy pulls. No cards yet, but... We got Phil Kessel. Another Patrick Kane. There's a duplicate for you. And an Anthony Mantha. So we do have a duplicate there. That's unfortunate. Still only two defensemen. Only four packs to go. Uh-oh. Gotta get lucky. We got two in one. We gotta get two in, the, in another here. Like, we, we gotta get lucky. Next up. Taylor Hall, former Spitfire, love the guy. Leon Dreisaitl and Connor Hellebuck, our third goalie. So we got Hellebuck, Bennington, and Rask so far for goaltenders. I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> we got Riley Smith, John Tavares, and Jose Kopitar. The forwards are just... It's only forwards. It's only forwards. Connor Brown... Matty Kachuk and Nico Hishier. I'm going to have two defensemen on my team. Don't get me wrong, it's Carlson and Wierenski, but... Oh boy, it's going to be... Miro Heiskinen, let's go, that's three. Clear-cut Phenoms. Unfortunately, Elias Pedersen, that card is nasty. That's a nice card. And Anthony Duclair. All right, so just a little bit of a rundown. My three goaltenders, Tuka Rask, Connor Hellebuck. My two goaltenders, Tuka Rask and Jordan Bennington. My three defensemen in Heiskanen, Wierenski, and Carlson. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 forwards to round out the rest of the team. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't. I gotta hope that you get less defensemen than me, I guess. So again, I cut to Thrash opening his packs there. Obviously, you just watched it. Unless I forgot to do that somehow, and you're seeing this, in which case I really screwed up bad. However, now, it is my turn. So here we go. I've got nine Tim Hortons packs here. Let's open them up, and let's see what we get. And also, I don't have the light anymore. I used to have a light that came kind of like from up here. So instead, you guys are just gonna have to look at this like air hockey looking piece, um, which is actually the tripod I'm using for my phone here. Okay, the first pack, we are, it's got a little stuck there. Oh, we got a goalie right off the bat. Actually, I didn't even really think about that. Hopefully Thrash got goalies as well, otherwise he's going to be screwed. But we got, okay, two goalies right off the bat. We've got Tuka Rask and Andre Vasilevsky. That is crazy. I was not ready for that. And Patrice Bergeron, a teammate of 
Tuka Rask. So not bad. That's a pretty good first pack. We got our two goalies out of the way. Let's see if we can get some defense. Once again, the tripod that is holding up this phone. Ooh, Gabe Landeskog is utilizing a lot of tape. <laughs> so that's how it's standing up. But anyway, we've got Landeskog as the first card for this pack. The second card. Oh my word. That is sick. All right. I, get, I didn't even mention this before, but I was going to say, actually, let me see. I don't know if that's focusing well enough. I guess it might be. But if you get a trios card, then I suppose you get to... Oh, it's like, oh my word, it's cool too. Yeah, Zach Parise, neat. But look at this. Are you kidding me? That is sick. So I guess I get to put all three of those guys on my team. If Thrash got one as well, I will do the same thing. But that's fire. Dalene, Eichel, and Olafson. You love to see it. I don't know what it is, man. I did like a pack opening on these Tim Hortons packs myself as well. And it just got so much harder to open these for some reason. I can't freaking do it. It's insane. All right. So the first card for this one is going to be a Blake Wheeler. We're going to get... Oh, that's neat. A gold, whatever that says. Etching, etchings? I forgot that word. I, once again, I have no idea what that means. But either way, a gold etchings, Johnny Goods. That's good stuff. And then we get a Dougie. We got a defenseman. Lovely. All right, here we go. Pack number, what is this, like four or five maybe? We get Hattrick Line A. Beautiful. Another jet there. And then we're going to get, ooh, is that one of the see-through ones? I think it, yeah, it definitely is. Uh, I don't know who's behind it, but either way, we get a Phenom's Clear Cut, uh, Matthew Barzell. So that's sick. That is awesome. And then our last card is going to be none other than Austin Matthews. Not a big deal. Okay, this pack literally wouldn't open, so I had to use, like, a micro USB charging cord and kind of stab through it <laughs> in order to get by. But anyway, we've got Malkin here winding up for a clap bomb. Ooh, Nicholas Backstrom. That is one of those cool rounded corner red cards. I don't know if there's supposed to be a name for these, but either way, beautiful card. And the last one is going to be a Travis Konechny. Okay, the micro USB stabbing trick is OP. It works very well. Uh, get out of here. We got... Jonathan Tapes as our first card for this one. Decent. We get ourselves a standouts Ryan O'Reilly. That's good. That's very good. We're still lacking on defense here, but it is what it is. And a Tyler Burt. Okay. Once again, we're going to have forwards playing defense. No doubt. All right, here we go. This is our third to last pack. We started off with a Jamie Ben. That's a decent card right there. We're going to get, oh my word, a cup winners on Zay Kopitar. Wow, that's a neat looking card. All right. And then we get ourselves a carry price. Okay. What I want to know is how are we finding so many goalies? Well, I mean, we only have three, but still, we're getting three goalies and I think we have two defense so far. Okay, for once, this pack opened relatively easily. So we get a Maximus Domi. No longer on this team, but either way, still cool. And then we've got, oh, an NHL canvas, Sydney the Kidney. That's a very cool card. I like that one a lot, especially in the... The canvas here. That's sick. We got ourselves a Nikita Kucherov as the last card. One pack left. I think two defensemen. Look at that. It's beautiful. All right. Our last pack here. We have ourselves a Mark Giordano. There we go. Another defenseman. All right. Hopefully there's one more in here. We get Steven Stamkos, the red rounded corner card. I'm a fan of that. And our last card is going to be a Miko Rantanen. Get out of here. It's pretty much going to be two all-star teams, I would imagine, but I wonder if he got luckier than I did with defense. I guess I'll find out right now when I go put the teams together. Ooh, I kind of like those jersey colors right off the bat. I'm not going to go with the Bernie Biases, but I'm kind of down with the way this team looks. So obviously, I'm just going to do best lines for both teams, just so I don't have any say in who actually gets to be in the lineup kind of thing, you know? I'm just doing best lines. EA picks, not me. So first up, your Toronto Vikings. We've got Stamkos, Crosby, and Kucherov. Rantanen, Malkin, Goudreau, Kopitar, Eichel, Bergeron, Wheeler, O'Reilly, Landeskog. That is a disgusting fourth line. I mean, the rest of our team's nasty too. But anyway, we got Giordano and Hamilton. Matthews playing with Dahlin. And then we've got Backstrom and Johnny Toes. Yes, I know it's Jonathan Taves. And then we got Vasilevsky and Tuka Rask in the net. Pretty deadly combo. We got a lot of players scratched here. So yeah, you can have a look at that. But... Oh boy. So now the Atlanta Thrashers. We've got Ovechkin, Pedersen, and Kane. Kessel, Dreisaitl, Hall, Chucky, Kopitar, and Tavares, Mantha, Carlson, Pacioretty. So I honestly think we have the better offense. Defensively, he's got Wierenski and Carlson. Stull playing with Haskinen, and then Nico with Dubrincat. And then Fournette. Got Hellebuck 
and Rask. Hopefully I'm not missing any players. And yes, if we get into a game and just by looking at the logo, you can tell that I did not put any effort into actually making the Atlanta Thrashers. Sorry. They do still have playoff mode. Nice. Two teams, best of seven. I don't think any of this even really matters because we're simulating. But anyway, full sim, sure. Let's do it. All right, here you have it. The Atlanta Thrashers versus the Toronto Vikings. Let's see how this one's going to go. I don't know why it says sim to next game. I probably just hit simulate, right? Because I don't want to sim to next game. I believe we should already be at the game. I was right. Great guess. Oh boy, Steven Stamkos getting the Vikings on the board already. That is huge. We are up one to nil halfway through this first period against the Atlanta Thrashers. Six and a half minutes to go here. Shots are definitely in the Vikings' favor. Malkin's going to put another one in the net here. Looks like we're heading into period number two with Toronto up 2-0. Oh, they have a power play. Will Atlanta capitalize and cut the lead in half? No. The answer is no. They will not. But Wheeler will score for the Toronto Vikings and give Toronto a 3 nothing lead it's looking pretty good for the vikings right now not so good for the thrashers but again it's only game one here let's jump right into period number three i think that the vikings will have this hopefully they don't really crap the sheets here in the third period but let's find out giving up a power play getting a power play of their own no goals scored on either power play shots are 29 to 20 at the moment five minutes to go carlson gets atlanta on the board but it looks like it is too little too late. Blake Wheeler going to pot an empty netter. And we have a 4-1 victory for Toronto in game number one. Simulate. Here we go. Game two still in Toronto unless we're in a bubble somewhere. Who knows? Not me. But either way, they start off a power play here for Atlanta. No goal, but John Tavares will score shortly thereafter, giving Atlanta the 1-0 lead. But Sidney the Kidney going to get it right back. But Taylor Hall going to get it right back again. What is this exchange? Holy crap, you think we're at like a farmer's market here. Just trades going on left, right, and center. Atlanta once again starting with a power play here for the second period. Not able to capitalize once again and not scoring directly after. Well, I stand corrected. It wasn't directly after, but they did score after it. Leon Dreisaitl getting a power play goal. I didn't even see it that time, but I guess maybe they got a power play and he scored basically instantly. Must have happened that way. Cope it. Okay, wow. Can we relax, Atlanta? For a second. Things are really not looking good for the Vikings here. 15 shots total. There you go, Eichel. Thank you. Get the team on the board here. At least put up some kind of fight, you know? Looks like we're going down pretty easily right now. Not a fan of that. And we're going to be headed to Atlanta after this. It looks like it's going to be 1-1 heading to Atlanta. Hopefully, Toronto will be able to steal one game while they're there. Once again, unless they're in a bubble. No idea. Game number three. First game... Where Toronto, wow, okay, Wheeler's going to score in the first minute there, giving Toronto a 1-2-0 lead. That's a hot start for the Vikings. Back-to-back -back power plays there for Atlanta. No capitalization, a power play for Toronto. Once again, no capitalization. And we're going to be heading into period number two with a 1-0 game in favor of Toronto. Shots 15-12 to in favor of Atlanta right now, who gets a power play. No goal, though. Toronto getting a power play. And as soon as it's over, Anze Kopitar is going to score to tie this game up. What a joke. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Matthews. Gio. Gio's going to get a goal. Sure, why not? 3-1 Toronto. That's good stuff. Bergeron. Patrice puts in a goal here. Kutra. Oh, this is what you love to see. You love to see this. Toronto just hammering the Atlanta Thrashers right now. Sorry, Thrash. But, well, I guess you destroyed me last game. But anyway... Is it going to be the same score? I believe it ended up being 5-2. So maybe it'll be the exact same game, basically. Yup. Blake Wheeler actually right now is first for points. There might be other people with three points, but he was on the front page there. He has three goals in three games. So he has been an absolute unit. For some reason, I was convinced that was going to be him. But nay, it is Evgeny Malkin, who is going to put up the Toronto Vikings 1-0 early on in this game and that lead will hold going into period number two shots are 10 to 9 and they are staying even Malkin's going to put in another one here relatively early in the second giving a 2-0 lead but Patrick Kane the one that I believe Thrash doubled up on I think he had a duplicate of Kane he had the canvas and another one did he not or maybe it was Pedersen maybe double up on both I don't remember but either way Bergeron gonna score a goal Patrice 
right in front of the net there. And we have a 3-1 game here for Toronto heading into period number three. They are being outshot, but they are not being outscored. Kucherov going to bury one on Connor Hellebuck. And it looks like Toronto might be running away with this one as well. And heading back to Toronto, unless we're in a bubble, with a very commanding 3-1 series lead. Yeah, there's no way they're coming back now. No chance. All right, 3-1 series lead for your Toronto Vikings. Kucherov now in that number one spot. He has two goals, two apples in four games. Let's see if Atlanta's going to hold on or if the Toronto Vikings are going to close this one out here early. Stay tuned. Oh, we've got a goal from Joe Nathan Toes. We've got another goal from Ryan O'Reilly. There you go, Toronto. Good job. Atlanta's being outshot quite heavily right now. Never mind, they pulled it back real quick. But they aren't scoring goals, so Toronto still got the 2-0 lead. Atlanta has the power play, and they are not going to be able to capitalize on that one. But O'Reilly will be able to score right after it. Oh boy, I think this is done. I'm pretty sure that Toronto has just sealed the fate of the Atlanta Thrashers. Another power play for Atlanta, and they are going to let that one slip by as well. You hate to see it. Not going great for Atlanta right now. 4-0. Oh, Taylor Hall gets them on the board, though. Five minutes to go. All right. We've got ourselves a game here. 49 seconds. Let's jump in, and let's see the team who's going to win. Not saying who it's going to be. Just saying that someone's going to win. Here we go. The Toronto Vikings playing at the ever-so-classic Aces Arena. The numbers are kind of weird. I just noticed that because... The outline is not too visible, but anywho, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, Kane! Getting up close and personal with Vasilevsky. Not able to put it in, though. 4-1 lead remains. Oh yeah, look at that Stanley Cup patch right there. I'm so sorry for these jerseys, by the way. The Vikings were just ran with whatever the game gave me. Uh, I basically just chose colors that are 100% not accurate for the Thrashers. Just FYI. But it is what it is. I am really down with these Vikings jerseys, though, if it wasn't for the the font. You know, I can't really tell what's going on there. It should be outlined a little bit more. But I think... No. Oh, my word. What happened there? Went off. Okay, I was going to say, that was just a floater. And somehow find its way found. It didn't find its... Well, it did find... I don't know. Grammar's tough, guys. Here we go. Let's see it from this angle. So he gets the puck. Yeah, it just bounced. Vasilevsky... Was not ready for that. And, I mean, how could you be, really? Just took a random hop and found its way. Oh, it went off went off Giordano's stick and then his shin pad and found top corner somehow. It's definitely too little too late, though. Seven seconds left. I don't understand why the Thrashers didn't have their goalie pulled. You know, like, it's a Stanley Cup final. Sure, NHL probably has that code in it where, hey, oh, they have a three-goal lead or whatever. Let's, let's not pull anymore. But realistically, you know, you're in the Stanley Cup final. I think you're pulling your goalie if you're down 22 to 7. Well, there you have it. The Toronto Vikings come out on top here, and it only took five games. The Thrashers were able to steal one from Toronto, but other than that, a pretty dominating performance overall. Well, let's go look at some stats, shall we? Bergeron actually ended up leading the playoffs. Mitch, if you're watching this, you got you love to see it. You really do. Kucherov with five, O'Reilly with five as well. So the top three are all Vikings. Same with Malkin. Carlson, really. He was a minus four, but had four points in five games for the Atlanta Thrashers. Kopitar, Rantanen, Hall is up there, Wheeler. Okay, so yeah, it looks like for the most part, it was just a stellar offensive performance from the Toronto Vikings. From a goalie standpoint, Vasilevsky had a 929-235, and Hellebuck had an 873-362. Not great. Well, anyways, I want to thank Thrash for getting those packs and sending that footage on over, and I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to check out Thrash's channel. The link will be in the description. And while you're headed down there, you might as well click the like button and subscribe. That'd be fire. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you want to see more of these types of videos, be sure to hit that like button and let me know so I could try to find more, I would say opponents, but really it's victims. Because I, well, I'm not undefeated actually, I don't think. But either way, I'm undefeated in NHL 21 now. All right, thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.